Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And Luke Skywalker sure has a purdy mouth. Yeah. Well, I'll let you lead this one. We're, we're going to talk. We're going to talk about this because I've seen this floating around on Twitter. Everybody talking about Luke Skywalker looking very, very femme in a comic, which I thought was something that was upcoming, something new, that this was another attempt to uh, I guess kind of run down Luke Skywalker because this has been an ongoing trend with Lucasfilm that they keep wanting to sort of run down mm -hmm. poor Luke. And it turns out that this book is actually uh, like three or four years old. Yeah. It's been out for a while. And, um, you know, Luke doesn't look, I mean, he looks very, very girly here. I yeah, get, I get we're going to be honest. I, I get the concerns, but we're cherry picking images here. And I guess this was on a message board. Well, first. Where, where's Han's medal? That is a good question. Well, um, Chewie didn't get one. No, Han doesn't either. Did Han have to give his medal to Chewie? Maybe. I don't know. Um, they cherry pick the images. Uh, I do. I, you know, does Luke look pretty femme here? Yeah, but here's the style. So the book is actually Star Wars original trilogy graphic novel, Alessandro Ferrari and Kawaii Studio. And it came out, I believe, was it 2016? Something like that, yeah. Um, let's see what the publishing date is on this book. 2016. So this this isn't a new thing. And you can see there, it's the same book, by the way they're drawn. Yeah. And this is just the art style. This is a very Italian um, art style. We saw a lot of this with the Disney covers, like the Italian artists on Disney's. The, yeah. Something like the Mickey Mouse and all that. I am pretty sure. Now, I, I, yeah, I used to work on Disney comics. We, we both worked mm -hmm. on Disney comics. Uh, I used to actually retouch and recolor a lot of the Italian comics. This is a very Italian Disney mm -hmm. style. Um, I, I'm just going to get my, my personal opinion here. Now, we are going to talk about some deliberate... Uh, I guess, tearing down of Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Uh, we will talk about that. I, I, I'm going to give my honest opinion as somebody who's worked on Disney comics and worked with the Italian art style. I do not believe this is a deliberate attempt. No, this is also done four years ago before we even had The Last Jedi or all of that. Now, I, it's interesting. I mean, he looks completely different here. That isn't terrible. That's not bad. And then, uh, but you can see it is the art we're talking about because you go down to like, you know, here, you know, Leia looks pretty bad there. She looks Leia old. looks she very looks, grumpy. She, she looks, looks like she's old and pissed. Um, <laughs> she is. Vader, I don't even know what's up with Vader's face. I don't know. But like you can see, it's the same. It's, it's the, the same, same style. It's the same style. It is, the, this is the book it's from. The coloring is phenomenal. The coloring is very, very good. It is very good. Um, um, but this is just a style. I mean. Disney fairies. This is Disney fairies. Style. Oh yeah, yeah. You this would know because you were you you were out for up, up for Disney. I fairies. actually was up for Disney fairies. Yeah, believe it or not. He was, was um, you know, fairies. but this I think is a case of it's the art style. Yeah, it is. It's not like if something was really shitty and it sucked, we'd say so. But we're also gonna you know say I don't think it was necessarily um, deliberate trolling like some people you know people think it might. Yeah, be. it's it's. I mean, I I get it because I mean, of course, people are gonna assume the worst now because Lucasfilm has. Made actively trolled? Actively trolled fans. They've actively tried to tear down Luke Skywalker, especially in these uh, cartoons they're putting on mm. YouTube, which we'll, we'll talk about that and how they, they handle the Empire Strikes Back. Um, but if you look at the face, this is a Tinkerbell face. This is this person, I'm sure, has probably drawn Disney fairies. It looks very Italian. It's mm. very Pixar. Um, now, what's kind of funny is some people have actually redrawn Luke. And it looks good. It actually does look good. Now, just some guy, uh, he actually pointed out to Twitter that people were actually making his lips redder. Because if you go down, well, like here, this is, yeah, okay. They should be blue anyway. He's cold. It's like Leia. Well, yeah. that's because it's his sister. There you go. Um, but he said this isn't the original art. The lips have been saturated to look like lipstick. The original didn't look like that. Yeah. So... Uh, you know, again, it's it's the art style. It's the art style, guys. Yeah, I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think this is a deliberate anything. And this this book is from four years ago. Right. So you it's know. not like it's you know they're trolling you now. No. Um. But like, I think they are doing a, a a new a new trilogy one by the same artist though that's coming out in yeah, July. Yeah. So it could have been that they you know it, they're putting it now because it's going to be relevant to the artist doing the one book coming out. In that July. that could be. That could be. Um, but, I mean, the improvements are actually, they're not bad. No, they're not. Uh, I just, again, this is the Italian the Italian art style. That's just, that's what it is. Uh, so, I don't I don't really think there's any any cause for alarm. 
Um, I'm just telling not you. Not on as, that. Not on that. And we'll tell you what you shouldn't be worried about. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm just telling you as a former Disney artist, uh, believe it or not, this is actually very, very normal. This is just how they draw shit over mm-hmm. in Italy. You know, they draw Mickey Mouse the same way, too. It's kind of weird. Um, they put pretty lips on him? Well, yes, yeah, um, Minnie Mouse they do, yeah. Oh, really? They, they, okay. they do. They have, a very, they have a very distinct style over there. So, Bounding in the Comics put this up. Uh, this is what we're talking about. This is where, this is why people assume the worst. Lucasfilm has, you know, trolled the fandom. Yep. They've retconned Luke Skywalker. Yep. They've retconned Princess Leia. They've made Luke look like a complete idiot yeah, in these the, cartoons. Yeah, on these cartoons, it's pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, they've gone out of their way to put Leia in scenarios that she never was in or that, that give her, like, more power than she ever had. Um, because Which makes me mad because it's basically saying she wasn't good enough in the original and why I liked her when I was a kid was because she she stood out because she kicked ass then they don't need to make her like you know look like a bitch they're not they're making her unlikable she's kicked ass on her own and was still likable now they're just making her like she's a cow yeah there are a couple things because they talk about they talk about how uh you know they, they actually call her general leia i guess in the yeah short, she which wasn't a general then she wasn't and we saw even in the one short where they showed leia they had her like actually on the battlefield commanding the yeah, soldiers wasn't now, what happened yeah they took out the general reikian i guess from this too which is weird so um this is coming from bounding in the comics we'll give a recap i don't want to show it because obviously we'll get demonetized um but uh star wars and lucasfilm has released a new animated star wars kids short according to disney star wars is dumb that reinvents the battle of hoth first shown in the empire strikes back i did watch it they did take some liberties mm. liberties with it uh star wars kids released the first of four parts that retells the battle of hoth retcons yeah i'd retcons. say retcons the battle retcons. of hoth the short begins with the voiceover the empire strikes back as darth vader leads an attack against leia's rebels on hoth but they weren't like she was part of the team but she wasn't like in charge of the team she was part of the rebels the first scene sees a rebel soldier tell leia general she wasn't a general then there's a fleet of star destroyers coming out of hyperspace leia responds it's risky but we can't hold out much longer from the very beginning the short is altering what actually happened in the empire strikes back this is why people are like assuming the worst about about luke skywalker mm-hmm. like oh my god and they're turning luke into a girl um, what actually happens, the rebel soldier informs General Reikian. As you can see in the clip, the soldier tells Reikian, General, there's a fleet of Star Destroyers coming out of hyperspace. So they, they basically replace General Reikian with Leia. Now she's a gen- now she's general. Even though she wasn't a general until the sequels. She's General Reikian. She's General Reikian, yeah. Um, because she's it's right to put a woman in there. Is she gonna is she gonna run the snow speeder around the the at ad's legs too now? I think so. And she's gonna fight Darth Vader, but she's gonna chop off his hand. That's right. Uh, cause that's how it's done. And um she she's gonna let Han freeze out because he's worthless. That's right. Um, she doesn't need him. Yeah. Anyway, not only does the short remove Reikian completely, but also refers to Leia as general. She did not use that title in the nope. Empire Strikes Back. No, she didn't. Uh, she was referred to as princess. In fact, she didn't take on the title of general until the sequel trilogy. Actually, wouldn't the princess outrank the general anyway? Yes. So. I mean, that's like that's like saying that the, uh, yeah, because a princess would outrank a knight if we're talking. Yeah. Know, um, this isn't the only thing that they changed. The battle sequences are out of order. Uh, Vader and the stormtroopers fire upon the Millennium Falcon first. Stuff like that isn't as, isn't as, you know, bad. As yeah. Like... But I'm like, we're celebrating the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back by retconning it yeah, for kids. Yeah, right. Oh, know? yeah, it's interesting because it's funny to me about the 40th anniversary because there's all these blog articles coming out about um, the 40th anniversary and, you know, about how things were and how they were happy about it. But they also have a bunch of articles coming out. If it happened today, you'd all hate it too. And, you know, it's like everybody's favorite. No. And they're trying to find fault with it um, and making up arguments that weren't there and things like that to try to poop on it. So pick a side because these are the same on the same blog. They have one article that's pro empire and one article that's going on about how shitty it is. I mean, just pick a side. Yeah. So yeah, they're, t- they're make out like Han is just like dragging Leia when she actually yeah, he jerks her way. And like, yeah, yeah. You know, like how dare he touch her? Um, so this is, you know, this is after, again, this is why people assume the worst about Luke. Cause they said, the new Forces of Adventure comes after uh, the Alphabet Squadron. Right. I thought that was a joke, but it's actually 
real. I told you it was I real. Know. And that uh, was also out for a while, too, by the way. Yeah, it had um, uh, Chas de Chattic, not Chattic, claim that Luke Skywalker's heroics at Yavin are essentially meaningless, and the Rebellion's true hero was Jin Erso. She Urso. was one of the heroes, but her father's the one who put the fault in, and Luke's the one who took it down, so... K2 did everything. I liked K2. K2 did every Droid rights. I liked Droid K2. rights. I liked K2 quite a bit, actually. Yeah, K2 was awesome. I'd just watch a K2 show. I would, actually. So, yeah, I mean, again, people were assuming the worst about Luke and Luke's lips because of these retcons. And I think the worst the worst offense was the uh, the Princess Leia episode where they had her doing things she did not do. And she smacks Luke. And she, Luke's like an idiot. He can't shoot. He's tying himself up with but a he, grappling and hook. And the reality was he had shot the grappling hook. He grabbed her on the waist. He got her out of there. And they made it. She had to save him because he was an idiot. Right, right. And instead of kissing him for luck, she punches him in the face. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, we saw how Luke was treated in uh, The Last Jedi. So do I believe there is an, uh, a definite uh, agenda against Luke Skywalker? Absolutely. Uh, I don't think that this particular graphic novel was it, though. I think it's just the art style, guys. I don't think it was meant to be. I mean, look how she they make Leia look right there. Yeah, because that's mean, the case. I mean, she's like an old woman. <laughs> she's just like... Rrr. Yeah, Leia's looking pretty haggard. Pew, pew! Pew, pew, pew! God, that should be that should be your avatar. Your avatar. Like, <laughs> no, I don't look that bad. No, just like pew, I'm tired of this shit. Pew, like, pew, pew. <laughs> They're standing him down. That'd be more me. This is me right here. Like you yeah. said, what now? Uh, yeah, but like a like doofy ass Vader helmet. It's just the Feels style. Like it's got, if, he, if, if a helmet could have buck teeth. Oh my God, they That's take the helmet off and like, it is goofy. It's, it's like if it's goofy as Darth Vader, there you go. Yeah, so I, again, it's just the art style. They're used to drawing Disney characters. They're used to drawing like Disney fairies and stuff. Yeah, I, I uh, don't Frozen. think it, I don't think it was you know intentionally nope. done that way or for that reason. Nope, just the just the style, um, you know. But uh, I, I might actually pick this book up. I don't know the art. I, I kind of like the coloring. I like the. I'm well, curious. it's not I'm that curious. much. It's not that much actually. Twelve bucks. 12 bucks. I'll put a link to it. You guys can go buy it. And tell me, tell us what you think. But it looks like they did a bunch of different ones. Yeah, they so did. They Rogue have Rogue one. one. Yeah, so it's the same. Solo. Yeah, so this person just draws all the, uh, well, here, does Solo, does he look, does he look, uh, girly in this one? Let's see. Yeah, it's the same. Wow. Oh, look at those cheekbones. <laughs> wow. This is some... Um, Wow. Wow. Look at Hans. Oh, he looks terrible. Cheeks. I, I it's actually, just the style, guys. I actually would take... Now, obviously, he's drawing uh, Alden Ehrenreich. That's right, right? Alden Ehrenreich instead of Harrison Ford, because Harrison Ford's Han looks way different. Um, this is the same artist. Too. It's almost like a caricature of the character. Yeah, they look like they look like carnival caricatures. I mean, I, I do like their art overall. I just... The colors are beautiful. Yeah, the coloring is amazing, but I just... It's the style. It's... Just it's weird. Let's like when he's doing things that aren't people. I mean, look how look at this look at this panel right here. That's yeah. That's there's beautifully done. There's the little you there. Know, oh, there's the the lips. The lips. Click. Um, it kind of reminds me almost of the Mad Magazine parodies of Star Wars back in the eighties. Here we got Ro we got um, Rogue One. Let's see if Jenna so, Urso looks like a man. It's just it's just um. It's a style. Oh yeah, this is yeah. Yeah, look here, it's just the style, guys. Yeah, don't. I mean, if it was if it was crap and it, yeah, I mean, look at look at that. Yeah. If it was crap and it was being done to be crap, we'd say so. But we don't think that's the case in this case, and we're not gonna lie about it. Just you know, because we know people will click on it more. We probably will get a lot of people who'll be mad at us for for saying what we're saying, and we know that. But we'd rather be upfront about what we think than you know go for clicks yeah i mean it's yeah it's just the artist style i actually i, I gotta tell you the more I, I see it it doesn't look very star wars but i actually do like the art it's it, very lively it's very it's energetic. expressive you know you got the you got the kissy lips or whatever where is it at uh where's the picture you have here but the, the, the take the way of the lips being girly like here they took they, i love how they took the lip parts off and they kept this the mouth like that mm -hmm. you got the but it's, it's expressive this is as expressive and they could have got it away with it without doing the lips but that's yeah. the style um yeah but it's just there it's, it's, it's quite expressive Anyway, um, so that's that's our hot take. Uh, take or leave it, I guess. Good job on the fix here. That looks pretty yeah, good. Yeah, actually is uh, Rachel. Rachel. Good job. Did a good job, I think, on that. But um, yeah, there's really nothing to see here, uh, except that, you know, that there. It's just an old book from before yeah. they, they, they killed Luke. 
So yeah, but I, yeah, I, I mean, again, I can completely understand why people I, yes, would 100%. assume the worst, uh, given what we've seen from Lucas. We always assume the worst. <laughs> yeah, too, so. yeah. So we're gonna wrap this one up. Yep. Okay. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.